All right, what's up, y'all? And welcome to um, what I actually just figured out is the 18th edition of Teaching Tuesday. I think I was mistaken last time. So for the record, this is the 18th episode. Starting to lose track. Um, anyways, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to take you to the country of Brazil. Um, I'm by no means a uh, Brazilian music expert, but uh, being a jazz musician, being steeped in the tradition of jazz, that's definitely part of the uh, job description in today's day and age. So I'll give you my take on how to comp um, a basic Brazilian pattern. Um, so just to preface, again, we're just going to use, um, we're going to be using our, our fingers, so no pick. Um, you can do sort of a hybrid pick fingers sort of thing, but we're just going to do uh, just fingers. And basically, um, uh, yeah, just to give you an introduction, we're going to use our thumb on the bass notes. That's going to basically be either the fifth string or the sixth string, and then the uh, first, second, and third finger uh, respectively are going to be playing the fourth, third, and second strings. Um, and that that's the basic pattern. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to play it for you first. It sounds like this. So that's the basic pattern, and then we can get a little fancy and we can do an alternating bass, and that's going to sound like this. And I'm just alternating the bass note to put it um, on the fifth every other beat. So that it's going to be, you know, the root on one and then the fifth on three. So it actually just emulates the, what the bass is doing. One, three, one. All right, so um, yeah, let's break that down. So we have um, basically the first note is gonna be the thumb and the fingers together. Then the second note is just the fingers. And those are two quarter notes, so it's. Okay, and then uh, the next note is the thumb and it's an eighth note and then the fingers and those are both two eighth notes tied together, so it's. So we have uh, one, two, three, and uh, we skip four, and then we play th uh, fingers, thumb, fingers, and the rhythm of that is and, one, and. So, so far we have so that's one, two, three, and, and one, and, and then we kind of do the same pattern but a little slower, so it's gonna be and uh, three, four. So it's the same pattern, meaning it's gonna be fingers, thumb, fingers, but it's gonna be instead of and, instead of three eighth notes, it's one eighth note and two quarter notes. So it's and three, four. All right, so the whole thing now we have. And the rhythm, one, or one, two, three, and, and one, and, and three, four. Okay, and so now we're just gonna alternate the bass, so instead of on three having um, the root in the thumb, we're gonna switch it to the sixth string, and it's gonna be the fifth, so then it looks like this. So the same rhythm though, so one, uh, one, two, three, and, and one, and, and three, four. All right. A lot of uh, brain gymnastics doing those at the same time. Okay, so the whole thing now, um, or I don't know if I mentioned, but we're going to do this over the song Girl From Ipanema. So this, the chords are to that song. Uh, you, you should definitely learn that song if you don't know it already, but the chords are F major 7 for two bars, and we're going to do this F major 9 chord, and then it's going to be G9, um, we're going to do just that regular kind of standard G9 voicing, G minor 9, and then uh, C7 flat 13, uh, this voicing here, and then back to our F, mi uh, F major 9, and then G flat um, 
nine. So here's here's the whole thing. So we, I just did that same pattern that we did with the uh, F major nine, but we did that and we moved it through the different chords. And then the little kind of tricky thing I did uh, was that I also did the alternating bass on the C seven flat 13, which is kind of tricky. You don't really need to do it. Um, it, it becomes a lot harder once you have the root on the sixth string. So I moved, I moved it to the tritone. I would say don't worry about that if that's confusing to you, but if you do get that, then that's kind of a little, cool little trick that you can have up your sleeve if it makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, lesson. This is how to comp uh, base, like a very basic Brazilian bossa nova pattern. You could also speed it up and it becomes a samba pattern. So that's just like your basic uh, jazz man's Brazilian pattern. Um, but yeah, hope you guys found this video helpful, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Otherwise, I'll see you next week for the 19th edition of Teaching Tuesday.